Yo, it's your boy Jerry Graphic Design here. I welcome you once again. Congratulations to me. Today is my birthday. I cross another year. Additional one year to my age. I'm grateful. Please wish me a happy birthday in the comment section. I will be very appreciated. And once again, happy new year to you all. And for those of you that are celebrating birthday with me today, I'm also wishing you a happy birthday also. Now on this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I design my birthday flyer. It looks simple but professional. All right. So I don't want to waste much of your time here. Uh, let me take you to how I started. All right. So uh, note the the resource will be in the description. And then because today is my birthday, I will be sharing some resource in my WhatsApp group. Please, if you haven't joined, do well to join. All right. You will be getting some resource free in the WhatsApp group. The link will be in this video description. Click and join. All right, let me take you to how I start. I delete this test, then I leave this background the way it is. Then I go to um, from gallery, which is this. I click here. Then I import a background from um, from my gallery which is this this is the background that i use then i didn't just go like that then i click on this image size all right okay i think the size is already set which is 1280 to 1280 that's the image size that i use then what i did next is i import my image i import my image all right sorry for the noise Do you may be hearing some noise of soundy please if my voice is not clear please just bear with me all right you know today is new year so there will be a a lot of noises all right then i place my image here like this and then what i did next i lock it now the next thing that i do next is i bring out a uh, text then i set glorious birthday so i on this note i use this in capital letter birthday like this then i click ok i click ok then i make it too light the next thing that i did is i would i go to my uh, phones then i picked uh, these phones that is the phones that i use then i click ok then i go to color so what i did here is i click on the color and then i click on the plus sign just drag this like this then this to the other side to make it just a little bit darker then i mark it then i bring out the, my roller set it here to ensure that uh they are all in the same alignment all right then i position it here then i go to my uh, size i increase it a little bit okay i think that should be okay and then i go to um what do we call it there is these stones that i'm looking for okay line spacing then i adjust it a little bit like this cool i make it thin that's what i i did there then i import it like this cool that is okay and then i lock it the next thing that i do is i bring out uh my name which is jerry i just tap my name so i the first letter is with capital letter while the remaining one i use small letter and then i position it here i position it here all right I position it here like this then i give it a color of this background sorry for that um uh, okay i'll need to pick a color so i click on the pencil icon then i pick this particular color and then i mark it i click ok that is the color that i gave it and then i give it a random phones uh this is the phones that i gave it all right so then i click ok then what i did next is i bought it all right so i just give it a random phone because then i padded it to allow the letter to come out very well cool then i position it here reason why i just uh, give it a random phone i don't want to use much phones here then what i did next is i bring my son name 
So I go to my text again. The first letter I use capital letter, the remaining one I use small letter. Halana, which is this? Then I go to uh, my phones. I go to my phones. Then I gave it this. I gave it this particular phones. Then I click OK. All right. Then uh, what I did next is I go to colon. Then I dark it a little. Take this here. And then take this to the right hand side. And then I mark it. Then I position it here. Of course, I increase the size a little bit to make it a little bold. Then I go to uh, pad it and then pad it a little bit as well to ensure that the alphabet comes out very well. And then I position it here like this. And then I mark it. Now, what I did next is I go to my uh, text again. Then I bring out one, just one. Then I position it here. I position it here. Okay. Cool. I position it here and then I give it uh, the same fonts that I give to my name, which is this. Then, of course, I bold it. All right, I bold it like this. Then for the color, I make the color dark as well. Just click on the plus sign, then drag it like this. Simple as that. Then what I did next is I go to my text again. Then I bring a plus sign, which is this. Then I click OK. Uh, then I did the same thing, give it the same fonts. Then of course, bold it as well then uh for the color make it darker as well then i bring it closer to the one all right bring it closer to the one like this uh let me give it gav a little bit a little bit should be okay cool then i reduce the size just make the size a little okay cool Think that should be okay then i leave it like let me bring it down a little cool then what i did next is i go to my text again then i bring a dot i just uh bring a dot let me see then i click ok then what i did is i go to my uh cough then cough it 200 percent then i position it here like this then uh, what I did next is I reduce the size, all right? Reduce the size to ensure that it's treated on this one, uh, on this plus one, all right? Because I don't want it to be larger than it. Then I position it here like this. Then I, for the color, I dark it as well to make it comes out cool. That is sorry for that so um what i did next is i i come to i go to my text i go to my text so um i bring out this long life long life grace all right grace and prosperity so the first capital letter i i always use the first alphabet i always use capital letter and then i make it two line just like this then i go to my phones and then i give it um uh okay this is the phone that i gave it and then i click ok then i go to my uh pad and then pad it a little bit because i don't want um any place to be hiding and then for the color i just click on the plus and then dark it just a little bit i don't want it to be that much darking then i click ok cool that that should be okay and then 
I use my roller to set it where, of course, reduce the size a little. Then I bring it down a little bit, just give it a little space, and then I click OK. Then what I did next is I go to my um, shape, then I give it a radius, then uh, crop it like this. Then what I did is I take my opacity to zero, then of course I give it a stroke. Then for the stroke, I give it just three. Yeah, give it just three. Then uh, measure it here, position it here, ensure that it's aligned with this. So measure it. Uh, this long life, grace, and prosperity is in between this shape. All right. Then after that, I have done that, I mark it cool. Then I adjust this. Adjust this. Let's bring this in. Cool. Since the shape is aligned with the uh, other text, then bring the text in. Then what I did again is I bring out. Now this is where the the uh, works comes in a little bit. So I go to my shape. Then I pick a uh, triangle. So I want you to achieve exactly what I did for my bed, all right? So then I give it a stroke, and then for this, then I reduce the size. Sorry, I reduce the size first. Uh, I reduce the size to little, and then I give it a stroke. I make it a uh, 15, all right? Then after that, I click OK. Then let me lock this before uh, I got interrupted, all right? Because I'm about to rotate this, so. I didn't need any distraction, so I rotate it like this. Cool. Then I position it at the center, like this. Then I bring out uh, a shape, just a white, a random white shape, like this. So what I did is I place it here. I just place it here like this. Cool. Then I mark it. So I want to curve this off. All right. So I match this together. I hope you are following just follow it gradually it's very simple as that you can achieve this all right then i erase it all right erase the white okay i hope you can see it cool then uh i just reduce the size a little all right cool then position it here all right i hope you are seeing what i'm doing then what i did is i bring out a roller so this is where i will make use of my roller place it and then i would double tap this because i want to use this often so i double double tap this then bring it down then position it here just bring it close okay cool then i do the same thing again i did the same thing bring it down then of course bring it close cool then uh let me adjust this a little because I don't want to waste much of your time here. I want this tutorial to just be a 15 minute. All right. Then I do the same thing. Copy. Do the same thing. Then of course place it here like this. Then copy. Still do the same thing again. Cool. That is okay. And then what I did again is we are going to lock this up then match sorry match them together i match them together and then i click okay oh i think they have been matched good then what i did again is i go to color then on this color i give it a gradient now on the gradient this is the gradient that i use all right so you can achieve it is very simple so i hope you can see how i achieve it so that is how I did the grid and then I click OK. Then I reduce the size a little bit. All right, reduce it a little bit and then position it here just to add some spaces to it. Then uh, the next thing that I did is I bring out my uh, logo. I bring out my logo, my logo, my logo thing is here. And then I reduce the size. So it depends on the kind of person that you are designing this for and like i say it's for my own personal bed that is why i am using my own logo so probably 
the person may have a logo you can use the person logo o as well you can also use your own logo that is fine cool all right so this is actually how i design the bed i hope you can see it's exactly as well you sell it on the thumbnail once again thank you for watching and god bless you please don't forget to wish me happy birthday and god bless you see you in the next tutorial i pray that this new year will favor you thank you